The global COVID-19 pandemic has illuminated one of the biggest and the longest standing weakness in global health. Safe sanitation and hygiene are an effective means to prevent and slow these outbreaks, and yet it remains tragically beyond the reach of far too many people. Today, like every other day, more than 670 million people around the world defecate in the open, practicing a habit that is harmful not only for themselves but also for those around them. 20 million of these people live in Ethiopia. Access to wash facilities in schools does not present an encouraging picture, either with 40% of schools not having any sanitation facility. One can only imagine how this impacts the health and the well-being of our children, particularly girls who miss school days every month or completely drop out as they have no safe space and not access to products enabling them to manage their menstruation safely and with dignity. Despite its direct link to global health and the well-being of our citizens, especially women and the girls, sanitation, hygiene and the menstrual health remain underprotected, underfunded in the forgotten development area. At present, and with status quo, we know that we will be nowhere near achieving the sanitation and the hygiene-related targets of sustainable development goals. Moreover, achieving universal health care will remain unattainable without addressing the sanitation and the hygiene crisis. Business as usual is simply not acceptable. We need to act now. I would therefore like to take this opportunity to sincerely welcome the creation of the Sanitation and Hygiene Fund, a bold, critical initiative, and frankly, long overdue. The fund will provide governments like mine with an effective catalytic funding mechanism to accelerate the implementation of our national sanitation and hygiene strategies and plans. We have seen such initiatives turning around spirit global health situations in the past. We have learned from it and we know it will work. The impact of global health funds such as Gavi and the global fund to fight AIDS, TB and malaria have saved millions of lives in the past decade. Let's now join hands and collectively take on the sanitation crisis. It will not only save millions of lives, but will also contribute to restore human dignity and well-being among the most vulnerable population in my country and around the world. I would like to conclude by expressing the government of Ethiopia's full support of the Sanitation and the Hygiene Fund and the call upon governments, donor countries and development partners to act now and considerably step up investments in sanitation, hygiene and the ministry of health.